home again. It took 50 years, but some Lower East Siders are finally moving back in. CBS 2's Allie Bauman explains why they left and the promise the city made good on today. The view looks a lot different from David Santiago's window since he last lived on Delancey Street in 1967. A lot of steel and... They took all that down. Santiago was six years old when the city kicked his family out as part of the urban renewal plan, promising they could return once the area was redeveloped. I didn't think anything of it at the time, you know, because when your mother says, pack up, we're packing up and we're going, and uh, they moved us to 60th Avenue D. Most of our parents were immigrants. We didn't know. Over the decades, hundreds of low-income families lost hope. What took so long? So many stories about developers coming and this happening, that, and nothing ever happened. So I had no faith in the project. It got backburnered by mayor after mayor. And administrations kept changing. But the one thing that didn't change is that this community never forgot the promises that were made in those early days. Until Francis Golden, a resilient community activist who is 94 years old, brought old neighbors back together to hold the city to its promise. 50 years is a very long time, but if we didn't stick to it, we'd never made it. Today, Golden cuts the ribbon for affordable senior housing named in her honor, where a dozen seniors are finally returning home. It's come a long way, and it's so much beautiful now that you can walk and live, and I'm proud to say I live here. Good to be back, though, after so long. When construction is completed, the building will also have doctor's offices, a cafe, and a senior center. So tenants will not only get back the addresses they lost as children, they'll get back the community they lost as well. On the Lower East Side, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. And a completed development will have more than 500 affordable housing units for seniors. Proves if you just hang around. Right? Wow. Thank goodness for Francis, right?